How's everyone doing? It's the Bar Side Boy. Today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video as you can see by the title. It's about Curtis Guthrie and the situation. I just want to give my opinion on it and other people's opinions. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. Most of you probably know the situation with Curtis Guthrie and what he said um, to the media after the match. Now, for any of you who don't know, he um, called Colchester Boo Boys and um, he said that the fans haven't been getting behind the team enough and that um, the players can't play for the fans anymore. They're going to have to play for themselves. Now, some of that I think is true. I think the Boo Boys bit is definitely true. And I think people have taken that out of context and he's aiming that at all the fans, that bit. I think the part that doesn't really... Um, help him is the part where we don't support the team. I think most of the fans do, and I'm going to use the word most, because I think most fans are there to support the team and want the team to do the best they can. But I do think there is that section of people, that 5 to 10%, which is growing fast, who don't get behind the team, and especially some of the players. Now, unfortunately, Curtis is one of the players that the fans do get on the back of. So he's a bit like um, Eastman and Porter, one of them... Um, the fans are going to get on his back quite easily, whatever he does now. I think, you know, he's right to speak out. I think, why should he um, be... Um, he should be strong in his press conferences. I think there's no point being wishy-washy and trying to wipe over stuff. I'm glad he's angry with the performance. I'm glad he's angry with a couple of fans. Because I think, if you were there yesterday, you probably understand. I think, if you weren't there yesterday, you probably don't understand where he's coming from now. There was a small section of the crowd yesterday, I'd probably say about between 5 and 10 people, maybe a little bit more, who were getting on his back. And especially in that first half, I think, you know, the amount of abuse, he, he can probably hear it as well, and that's probably why he's kicked off. The amount of abuse he gets is, it's not even funny, it's just, people think they're funny by doing it, but it's not, it's just, just stupid stuff. I mean, it's like, oh, run faster, head that ball, win the ball. Work harder. If another player's playing badly on the other team, it'd be, are you Guthrie in disguise? I mean, no wonder he's low on confidence. No wonder he's missing all them chances because you've got people, you've got fans like that, supporters who are supposed to be supporting the team and club. And though we can't really support them in tough times, but you've got them doing this to the players and demoralising them. I mean, how would you like it if you were sat at your office job, or whatever job you had, and you had a small section of people critiquing your every move? Even if you did something right, they wouldn't say you well done for that. They just critique you on every little bit um, that you've done, whether it's small or large. That's how I think the situation is with him at the moment. He scored a goal, and there's still fans that weren't even off his back. It's ridiculous. I think, you know, he's having to prove himself a lot then. It, considering he's not even playing in his preferred position, it's really tough for him at the moment. And I think, you know, what the fans have done today has really um, improved his point of that small section, which he has said in a later thing, where he did put on Twitter, you can look at all the stuff he's put on Twitter, in that small part where he said, oh, I was only talking about a certain number of fans, and I think what's happened throughout the day is it's heated up, it's boiled up, it's boiled up, and it, he's obviously reacted to it in the wrong way by, I don't know what he put it, uh, keyboard warriors, and I think that's the wrong way to act. But, um, you know, he shouldn't be saying that, but that's just hyped up even more, all that tension, all that fuel... And it's just all burning so quickly and straight at him. And I think if any other player, probably would have been the same. He's just the wrong player. And I think they're, they are all feel, feeling that frustration right now. And I think he's just the unlucky player that's spoke out about it. And I feel that we are supporting the team. And I do feel there are some people who are acting um, not great towards the team. Whether that's on Twitter, at the matches, whatever. And I do feel it was right for Curtis to say most of the stuff he did say. Of course, I don't agree with everything he says. I don't think, you know, I've, I've said it, we do support the team. But he is right about the poo boys. I mean, you, ha you have to be there to witness it. You can't just sit at home on Twitter saying all this stuff when half the time you're not even at the matches. You have to have evidence. And luckily for me, I've been most home in the way matches and I can see all the stuff happening. It's going to be horrible the next two games because he's going to get booed and it's unfair because he has cleaned it up now. And can we just remember, this is a only a snippet, so imagine his the bit we've seen in the sun of his interviews like that 
it's probably about his interview is probably about that big. We've got a snippet, and this is from the Sun. All right, and you want to believe the Sun and what they say, and you're going to believe them word for word that the Sun's right. It's not like it's the Gazette. And if you look at all the other reports, nothing's been said that. All if you look at the Gazettes or um, East Anglians any times. Nothing's been said about Curtis's kicking off. I think his words have been taken out of context. I don't think he's seen the report. And I feel you have to see, you have to hear that whole interview before we make a judgment on it. So that's my opinion on it. I feel there's parts in there that are right and wrong, but I think the worst part is the fans kicking off on Twitter. That is, I hate to see that, and I do feel sorry for him. But. If you did enjoy the video today, please leave a like, please have leave your opinions in the comments below or on Twitter. I'm at Freddy Laidler and I will see you tomorrow for my match. I'll hopefully double upload tomorrow, maybe. Uh, yeah, so yeah, bye.